We start tonight with the Gate City community looking to crack down on violence with a new proposal by the Birmingham Housing Authority. Welcome in. I'm Jim Dunaway. And I'm Sherry Jackson. The Housing Authority wants to cut back on the number of entries in and out of Mark's Village. It's a move to reduce gun violence. CBS 42 News reporter Matt Fernandez joins us now live in Birmingham tonight with details on how this proposal would work. Matt? Sure, under that proposal, the number of entries in and out of Mark's Village would go from 19 to 3 by setting up barriers around the neighborhood. Violence is no stranger to the Gate City community. This woman who did not want to give her name lives in Mark's Village. Um, Sometimes we hear Sue, not here. The Housing Authority Birmingham District is looking at a plan going from this number of entries to this. HABD President Michael Lundy introduced a plan to people in the community. Says the recent shootings in the area have involved people driving their cars in the neighborhood, firing shots, and leaving through one of the 19 exit points. Says there's been several homicides within the last year. Reduce the entry points and the exit points, then we'll be able to reduce the, the, the amount of gun violence in the community. It's people that come from somewhere else to do their dirt because they know they have somewhere else to go and hide. Juliet Evans lives in Mark's Village. There's too many people take advantage of all these openings that are here. And when they realize they can't escape as easily as they think they can, they'll give it a second thought. Many people who are showed the proposal at the Mark's Village Community Center this afternoon were in favor of the idea. And Lundy says the proposal still needs to be approved by city council. If it is approved by city council, it could go into effect within 45 to 60 days. Live in Birmingham, Matt Fernandez, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.